I'm back with another So You Want to Play video. It's been a long time since I've done one of these, but here we are, and we're actually going to be using the Aztecs for this one. Uh, real quick, before I get started, going forward for this series, I'm going to be doing a YouTube and Twitter poll, or maybe just YouTube, actually, a YouTube poll uh, that's going to come up in your feed on YouTube uh, with four sieves in it, three or four, we'll see, and you guys vote for which one you want to see, and I'll pick that one. I'll pick the four sieves that I choose, stuff that I want to do, stuff that's remaining, and then you guys pick your favorite, and whoever wins that poll within a day, uh, I'll do that one for the next episode, okay? If you guys don't know what the series is, it's basically a tw Twitch and YouTube series uh, that's about the civilizations and also about how to uh, play them in theory versus how to play them in practice or in a real game and the comparisons between those two. Today, we're going to be doing Aztecs. So this is So You Want to Play Aztecs and let's hop right into it. Also, last thing, actually, I lied. Before we hop into it, um, now that we have the new pick the map feature, I'm going to be doing pretty much every sieve on Arabia, and I'm going to be banning the, any water map or arena, and keeping every version of an open land map available, so Arabia or Valley, and Gold Rush, if you get Mega Random, then I'll probably dodge the queue and queue up again, <laughs> I'm not going to lie, actually I'll do this, so I'll leave four legs available, alright, anyways, let's hop into the tech tree and see how to play Aztecs in theory here, um, and then in the queue, we're going to be answering some questions from the Twitch chat, let's get the high YouTubes there if you haven't already, perfect stuff, so, Aztecs are classified as an infantry and monk civilization. Their bonuses are as follows. Villagers carry plus 5, which is actually a better bonus than it seems on paper. I'll explain what this bonus uh, means. Actually, I'll do that right now. Uh, plus 5 means that um, on wood, before they make each trip back, they have an extra 5 lumber, which helps a lot. But most importantly, on the farms. Carrying plus five on farms make you makes you farm significantly faster than the generic civilization. So treat this kind of like a faster farm bonus more than anything. It's a really good bonus. Um, military units created 10% faster. This was nerfed from 15%. I believe this is actually wrong, by the way. I think there's a math problem here. This is actually 11.1%. Some nerd on the internet like wrote that somewhere. I think I read it somewhere. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's 11.1% faster than the generic uh, military units production speed so this is pretty good notice it says all military units so eagles archers skirmishers galleys from the dock as well very strong bonus as well uh plus five monk hit points for each monastery technology uh this is really good for their monk rushing which is actually uh a pretty core part of the aztec um uh, of the aztec sieve again it's infantry and monk sieve and then you start with an extra 50 gold which is not too bad as well um and then a unique unit is Jaguar Warrior, which is an anti-infantry unique uh, unique unit, which is an infantry himself. Uh, and then the unique techs are very strong. At lateral and, ca and castle age, skirmishers get plus one attack and plus one range, uh, which is actually a very strong bonus. Uh, and then the Garland Warriors gives their infantry plus four attack. Both of these are very good and are pretty much key in every Aztec late game. And then their team bonus is that relics generate plus 33% gold, which is another really good bonus. So Aztecs, very powerful when we want Civ. I rated them S tier my tier list because they have tons of great, good bonuses. Not one of these bonuses is bad. Okay, let's hop in the text and see what they have. So they have uh, Arbalest and an Elite Skirmisher with a Thlato, but they're missing Thumb Ring. So that's, you know, not the best Arbalest ever, but still pretty good for Castle or Early Castle. Uh, their barracks is pretty healthy, only missing Halberdier, but they have Pikemen with plus 4 attack as well, which is not bad. Obviously no stable, but they have the Shalotta Warrior if you convert another uh, or opponent stable. Sorry about that. Their Siege is really good though, so they have Siege Ram and Onager. Uh, so right off the bat, you probably want to be playing with some sort of like infantry, Siege, and maybe some range unit like Skirmishers, with maybe some Monks as your composition. So right off the bat, that's kind of what I'm thinking as a composition. Um, you're obviously missing Heavy Scorpion or Bomber Cannon, and you are missing Heavy Scorpion as well. Uh, their Blacksmith is okay. Uh, they have everything except being Archer Armor. It's the only Mezzo Civ that misses an upgrade in the Blacksmith besides the Stable, or besides the Horse uh, upgrades. So they're missing Ring Archer Armor, which is uh, which is pretty bad, but uh, they have a Thlattle to make up for it, so the Skirmishers are still really good. Um, their dock is nothing special, uh, just gonna skim right over it, I mean, you have fast fire ships, so you can play hybrid maps decently, but as far as full water goes, you're, you're pretty, pretty limited. Uh, university, they have siege engineers, the one thing I will note actually about Aztecs that kinda sucks in the university, you don't have even masonry, so your castles are very, very weak, okay? So no masonry, no architecture, and no hoardings, so your castles have no upgrades to their HP. So Aztecs is not a very good defensive civilization. It's not a very good civ that can hold the hill for a long time. It really needs to be playing aggressively and it needs to kill your opponent fast more often than not. Or just, you know, kind of stall out the game by using the relic bonus and cheap trash. 
no keep, no bomber tower. Moving on, full monk text, also with the plus five HP per monk tech, which is really good. So monks are amazing. And late game eco is okay. Missing guilds and two men saw, but pretty solid overall. So in theory, Aztecs strike me as a very good economy sieve and very aggressive sieve in the in the mid game. Going for some monk option in Castlage is gonna be very good. Monk siege, maybe with some eagles. You could play with archers like crossbow or skirmishes if you want. However, it's not gonna be the best choice, you know, every time. Um, but it's definitely something to keep in mind. And then late game, you probably want to play with your elite eagle warriors or their athletic skirmishers, and then continue to mix in some of their awesome siege, like siege onager or siege ram, uh, or switch into some or continue with their monks as well. Uh, and that could be pretty good. So let's go ahead and queue up favoring Arabia with the Aztecs and let's answer some questions from the Twitch chat right now. So any uh, question right now in the chat, go for it about Aztecs, I will answer. Let's go for it. Which map suits the Aztecs? Uh, either um, closed maps, closed land maps, or open land maps. Basically any land map. <laughs> in general, what's your favorite opening with the Aztecs? I think Men at Arms is probably the best opening with them. Men at Arms into archers or Men at Arms into some Eagle Skirm. Can you talk more about the Jaguar Warrior? Sure. Jaguar Warrior is a very slow producing unit. However, it has very uh, high damage versus uh, infantry because it gets an attack bonus with other infantry. Um, but it's probably not the best option to go for oftentimes because it is slow producing um, and it gets countered by pretty much everything else. So it's not the best unit in the game. Want to use Jaguars against other infantry civs if you have uh, a lot of castles. I'm playing Aztecs on Arena right now. What composition should I make? Uh, Monks is your best friend on Arena for sure. So Monks, Eagles can be really strong uh, with some early traps as well. You could also tech into Atlato Scrims and Seed Ram if you need. And that's actually the end of the questions. Let's answer a bit more in the one minute. Um, hardest strat to face is Aztecs. Definitely the more open your map is, the harder it is to play because you don't have access to cavalry. Um, probably the hardest strat to face is Aztecs. Um, maybe just mass crossbows can be the hardest actually. Mass crossbows because oh then you can go eagles but mass crossbows if they can one shot your eagles can be pretty tough to deal with I think. Ideal composition should be like e uh, eagle warrior, atlato skirms, and some sort of siege would be ideal and maybe some monks mixed in as well. Uh yeah let's remove the random civ option good call. Are there any other options next to eagles and pure yeah oh, sure their siege is great siege onager siege ram monks skirmishers uh champions champions are pretty good eh don't don't sleep on the champions they have. Uh, 13 plus 8 attack, very strong. What civs have the strongest matchup against Aztecs? Aztecs is one of the best civs on Arabia, and they have good matchups across the board. The hardest matchup, I mean, just other top civs, and it becomes a skill matchup, basically. All right, very good. Let's hop into it, and it's going to be Khmer versus Aztecs, and we have Lan as the opponent, so that's a pretty good one. I know the overlay is wrong. going to fix it right now. should be good to go now. And let's do some educational commentary with the Aztecs. Okay. Bring in my sheep bonus, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, scout out my map and decide what I want to do a bit later on as well. Okay, bring in that villager, should be good, should be good. So again, start, 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 the start will start, uh, the start will start out the same. I don't know why I'm stuttering all the plays uh, as any other Civ, um, but I do have the Eagle Scout, which is gonna help me with the scouting. I did a lot, eh? I stuttered too much. It's a, should have paid attention in high school English, I guess. All right, bringing in the sheep back. And just looking around the map. Khmer is a dangerous sieve, so let's talk about the matchup a little bit. I, I always like to do this, think about the matchup as I'm playing the Dark Age, because there's not much else going on. Khmer can be very dangerous in late game with a lot of their farms spamming Hussars. But I think in the early game, I should have the advantage with, with, the, with the Aztecs. And in the Castlage, maybe playing with their monks is going to be my best option. So I'm going to see if I can do some sort of monk kind of gameplay in Castlage. And in the early game, maybe something like Men at Arm or Drush opening can come to mind as well. Maybe Drush, actually. Um, usually I like to open Scouts versus Khmer. Because they don't have a barracks to go for a Spearman. Or most of the time they don't make a barracks. Let's pick up my sheep here. Got both boars on this side. All right, gonna continue scouting around. Perfect stuff. Okay. And typically in this matchup, you probably want a wall as well, because Khmer have access to cavalry units, whereas Aztecs don't. I don't have to be that quick to 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 wall if I'm gonna be putting the pressure early on, which I do plan to do. I'm gonna open men at arms and look to put some pretty nice early pressure on. So I don't have to be that quick to wall, but it should be in the back of my mind as I play uh, in in the mid feudal age. 
or in the early to mid feudal age rather. Uh, let's bring in my first boar. Gonna get my house on the front as well. Already put it, uh, put it in the shape of a wall. Always do that with your first houses, regardless what city you're playing. Uh, put them in uh, kind of like the structure of a wall. There it is. So I'll put it right here, and that could potentially be a wall like that later on. All right, next bill will go over to berries. Very nice. Let's get my mill down on the berries. Perfect stuff. The map is very open here, so you know what? This could actually be a really, really rough game against Kimur. My map is very open, and it's not exactly, um, it's not exactly the kind of map you want with the sort of like Aztecs who don't, who don't have access to knights in Castle Age. But I might have to just play Eagles in Castle Age now because of this open map, just to gain some more mobility. Eagles and maybe some, uh, uh, some, some monks. I could steal the boar if I wanted to. I'm not going to go for it though. Let's uh, be a sportsmanship player, Pogchimp. Alright, learning in my second board. Next will will... Ooh. Nice, got some good hits there. Alright, next will should make a house and then my barracks on the front. So I have the option to drush or to go for men at arms here. I'm not sure exactly what I want to do yet. Let's, let's think. So if I go for a Drush, the, the benefits of a Drush is that I can attack him faster than Men at Arms, but the, the downside of it is that if I'm not able to find any damage, then he can easily retaliate with, with Scouts. And since my map is pretty open, I think I'm gonna skip out on the Drush. I'm gonna go with um I'm gonna go with Men at Arms, yeah. His barriers are quite close to his town center though. He's going with a barracks now, so he's probably gonna open Men at Arms himself. It's weird that he's gonna go with a barracks as Khmer. That's okay, interesting. Got my eco, next build to gold. And I'll wall up this side, I guess. I can wall towards my TC, I suppose. Like wall like this, wall in the back side. And then, yeah, wall the front. I'll probably do that. I'll wall towards my TC. And now he knows I'm going to be going for an arms, most likely. Map is very good. Look how many woodlands he has. One, two, three, four, five, six woodlands to wall his map with. So he seemed to be happy with that. It's gonna be hard for me to, to break in there, most likely. And we're up to the next age. So, again, pretty clean build order. Uh, if you guys are wondering where to find build orders like these, they are in my Discord, uh, available for subs to my Twitch stream as well. So those on Twitch can easily have access to them. And those from YouTube will have to come on over. I'll leave both links in the description as per usual. Let's get my Men at Arms out uh, right away. He's probably gonna be walled though, so I'm not gonna be too eager to do damage. Ah, uh, looks like he's still open. Let's see his gold. I want to see if he's going to be going men at arms. Yep, yeah, there it is. He's going men at arms. But you know what? I can pressure that gold. It's pretty exposed. So I'm going to look to pressure it. Oh, he's going to go for a drush. Interesting. Let's run back. I'm going to bring my ego back then. Keep my gold safe. Um, I'm going to go back with my egos then. From my production. Fight with some villas here a little bit. Okay. Yes, his drush is doing some pretty nice harassment now. I have enough to clear it up now, I think. Well, I get some good damage. Again, he's getting some villager idle time out of me now, so that's still pretty good for him. He's going to be happy with it. But now I have the men at arms and I'll be pretty fine at home. Okay, I'm scared of the Drush FC from him now. Hmm. I get the men at arms attack. I do want to get the men at arms attack very soon. Oh, I have another militia here. I was wondering. I was wondering why I have no, f no food for... Uh, and then arm tech. But that is very weird. What the hell? Okay, let's go pressure him though. I'm gonna get my range at home. And then look to pressure him as well. He's up to feudal age, so I'm not scared of the Drush of Sea anymore, obviously. My idol here. Yeah, let's pick up my inner arm tech now. Just to keep the pressure high.
idled a little bit too much though. But I needed the mana arm attack in time. Just I felt like I did. Now I'll go for archers behind this one. I need a couple more on gold. So mana arm to archers. And remember, I do have the crazy farmers behind this that we talked about earlier. We've got a range. Let's go attack. I can I can go fight a villager maybe. He's not careful. Turn on the scouts. Reasonable engagement here. I kill his scouts. Four on gold is all you need for archers. And I got a pretty good engagement here. Not bad. He's going for two ranges. Okay, interesting. Hmm. Two ranges means I can go one range skirmishers, actually. That's what that means. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch to play. Okay, okay. So this is an important. This is a critical moment of the game. I'm gonna go three archers. Get fast fletching. Go for some early damage, and then I'm gonna switch over to uh, pure one range skirmishers. The idea is I want to play with eagles and castleage, and the reason I want to play with eagles and castleage is because my map is so open. So I want to switch to eagle and uh, monk and castleage, uh, and to do that I'm gonna defend with scrims in the feudal age. So this is a critical moment of the game, and I'm doing three archers just to get some pressure as well with them. Uh, I'm just not sure where that pressure should be going. I think this is the only place he's open from. And the goal is going to be to snipe uh, villagers. Nothing else. I don't care to trade army. I just want to fight villagers. Okay, maybe I can go to the berries. Okay, this is a bit ambitious for me. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> okay, well, let's see if I can sneak in two archers and get a pick. Yeah, that was a bit ambitious for me. Played well though to stop it. Let's see, if I can get one villager, I'll call it worth. Oh, he's got the house. Come here. Well, well played. He played well. He played well there. Still think my idea was pretty good, but he's he's fully walled, yeah. Fully walled. Yeah. I lost my three archers, but that's okay. Um Didn't think that I was gonna get too much with them anyways. I think the idea that of switching the scrims is correct here. Still missing the wood upgrade though, that's not the best situation for me. And now we wait. We wait for him to show his face with these archers. And uh, you know what? In the meantime, let's wall up my map as well. And my map was definitely significantly worse than his. To wall up. Oh my lord, that's so bad. That's definitely one of my pet peeves. I don't know about you guys with the game. And I left a hole here between the house and the range as well, so he can slip by and I can sneak on him with the skirmishers. And I'm gonna stop producing him at like seven skirms. Should be enough to defend myself for now. Go back on the gold, because I need to have enough on gold. And there it is. Amazing for me. Oh, he gets a villager though. So that's actually kind of worth for him. Okay, you know what? That's fine. I'll consider that an even trade. I lost the villager, he lost his units. That's okay. I lost three scrims for seven archers and a bill. Or for seven archers, I lost a few scrims and a bill, of course. Okay, and now I'm ready to make the switch into castleage. Question is in castleage, do I want to go for an all in push or do I want to just kind of slow it down? I see three golds on the front, so I could actually all-in push this one. It is a bit risky to all-in push sometimes, but Aztecs are pretty deadly with the all-in push, so I can consider it here. <laughs> and he's saying he knew I had this chat for the skirmishers. I'm gonna say it's still worth for you, though. It was, it was about even trade since he got the villager. If he didn't get the villager, it wouldn't have been that good. Okay, now I probably have to transition a little bit more over to the wood. Um, getting my eco upgrades now, as per usual. And let's fully wall this side. I'm going to put my aggression on this side because I see two golds and a third one here as well. So I think I want to push with, with knights, honestly. Knights and eagles now. Yeah, I'm gonna, uh, not knights. Sorry, monks and eagles. N knights? Hello, Hera. Are you here? Yeah, let's, let's go for uh, my eagle play. I'm going to keep the scrims on the front. And again, you don't need that much on uh, on food as well. 
I could feel free to take a couple off the farms. Need more on the gold. And you know what? I might I'm not I'm not even gonna all in this one. I'm gonna just do three TC at home and then look to push with eagles and monks. Yeah, that's a better play. If I go all in, I'm kind of forcing myself to do damage, but if I get my TCs up first, then I'm kind of having a, a safety net. My push won't be as strong, but I'll have a safety net with my eco, and I think that's a little bit better, honestly. I was getting some last minute trades here. Stable for him? Yep. Yeah. Have crossbows. And okay. Let's get a monastery now. And let's get a town center in the back. Perfect. And now the eagle switches on. We've got two barrack eagle with the monastery. He has a lot of uh, a lot of crosses. I'm gonna make one scrim in my range, so he might think I have more more than that, and I should wall this up as well. Let's play. Let's play purely defensive because he has more he has more army than I do at the moment. And I'm gonna take these guys off because that's very exposed, and make another town center here. Oh, come on. Let them in. Oh, my lord. Okay, this is so bad. But I think he saw the, the range being full and went back. No. He's still attacking. He doesn't care. And I think he senses that I'm on the back foot here. Coming out, he doesn't have the most amount of upgrades on those uh, on those guys, on the knights. But still, a monk or two can be very helpful. Maybe I should open siege shop actually. Yeah, the monk is enough to push him back. Oh, got a really fast conversion there. I'll be happy with that one. Sure. And again, just booming up, playing a little bit defensively and getting my eco up to speed. Do you want to get this? Can I afford this? Not yet. I need more farms. Astic farmers are pretty crazy, so I'm able to afford a lot with them. But I'm going to be forced to fight this one very soon, I think. Just using the monks to kick him off. Use another barracks now as well. All right, lost one barracks, so not the best situation for me. I really want the forging. Man, I'm a bit on the back foot here, but I, I'm in the ideal comp. Monks and eagles. I'm in the ideal comp position, so. You know what? It's not the end of the world. In the monk safe here. Both. Do I win this fight? Not sure if I do. I'm committed to it at least. And it looks like I don't win it, so this is actually quite a bad situation for me. Continue massing eagles. Kinda have to do that at this point. And this gold is gonna get pressured very hard, so I should probably move them and go take some stone. And instead of that one, we'll take this gold. And I'll defend with the I'll defend with PCs here. It's not the end of the world for sure. He's playing very aggressively now. Yeah, 
the defenses way. Maybe he overextends here, who knows. But overall, not the best situation for me to get wheelbarrow. At this point, I'm pretty much I have to go mass eagles. He's getting a lot of text on the on the knights though. I need monks. Like that's the problem. My monks never did any damage. Got kicked off a lot of my farms. Killing my. It's there, or my house is there. Hmm. Can I ever take a fight versus this? He has to overextend, basically. If I take one good fight, though, I, I'm the, the game swings back in my favor, to be fair. I sell the stone, because it's going to be very important to win those fights. I don't actually care about stone. I'm all in for the fights. He's doing a really good job of not overcommitting as well. Nice. Take those. We take those. Okay. Yeah. Plus two in the night still. Holy cow, that's really scary. And I, I think I need to transition to pikes now. Mass infantry. Okay, this is maybe the overcommitting I'm looking for. But I went all the way around. Kinda sketchy. I'm taking the fight and I'm getting cleaned up here. The knights did enough damage. And the pikes aren't enough to clean it up. Yep. GG. Gonna have to call it and we're gonna have to analyze what went wrong and what happened and why we got in this pretty poor position and why we couldn't get out of it basically. Oh, I didn't fight with like half my army or like a little bit of army. He was 3TC as well. So let's analyze what happened and what went wrong. So, I mean, right off the bat, I had a pretty. Uh, awkward map to wall, so I had to play something something more aggressive than what I would normally play with Aztecs. So I went with like men at arms into some archers. I did, so let's go over my mistakes. I did waste three archers, which I thought would be good to snipe a vill. Didn't quite get it. That was more or less a good play from him, though. He stopped me from pushing into the arch with the archers. He killed me with the skirmishers. Uh, and then the follow-up for me was to try and go for skirms into eagles. I did lose a villager, and I got into eagles. The problem is, though, I went for a, a monastery right away. And he wasn't really doing knights, so I should have done a siege workshop first to get a mangonel. After the mangonel, then I can tech into like pikemen or, or monks after that. But I had to defend myself first, at first, because I went for monks and eagles, but then I had no answer to mass crossbow for a long time. And so I can never take a fight, so I think that was my biggest problem. Going with the monastery first, I should have definitely gotten a siege workshop first. And then after that, I, I feel like it snowballed from there. I was never able to take good fights. I went for, you know, pikemen eagle. And uh, and it, you know, never it was I never able to actually come back. He he didn't he didn't make any mistakes basically. So that's good on him. Well played, Mr. Land. Yeah, I don't know if I have any any other comments. I mean, Kamir is one of those top civs that could actually win in a skill matchup, and he definitely played it better overall. Definitely needed that siege workshop there, and um, and I would have been a, in a little bit of a better position. 
I think this showcases how uh, how, how to play Aztecs in some way, which is to open up with like some infantry, with men at armor or drush, follow it up with some range units, use your good economy to go up fast, and then try to play with some infantry and castle age. Obviously, Khmer have just as good as economy, so you know, just because they lost this game doesn't mean that Aztecs aren't a good save or anything like that, or aren't supposed to be played this way. I think if I just did a few things better, going with a siege workshop earlier, um, I could I could have been in a much better position. So, uh, some small decision errors that snowballs out of control, and he got a much better uh, KD. Uh, Eagles don't do very well against knights, so that's why I needed a bit more monks, I think, to, to take care of those guys. Maybe I could have also went full monks, like I, instead of booming, I could have went like three or two monastery, one siege shop, full monk and uh, and siege with few eagles. That was another option as well, uh, but that wasn't a bad one as well. All right, GG. All right, Twitch. That's gonna be the end of the episode.